Hello and welcome to Behold and Resold. My name is Courtney and I'm a part-time reseller so I find things for a really good deal, buy them, and then flip them for a profit. And today I'm introducing you to the very first What What Wednesday. And what what is What What Wednesday you ask? Well What What Wednesday is going to be a weekly video that showcases the items that I've sold in the previous week. What they sold for, what I paid for them, and the total profit that I made for that week. I'll also mention the status of each box and pallet um, that I've purchased in the past and if I've hit uh, my profit with them yet or how far I have to go, um, things like that. Well this past week's sales were pretty decent. Um, I only had one day that I didn't have any sales at all. Um, I've been listing like crazy and I've built up my eBay store to just a few shy of 500 listings, which is great. I'm uh, just trying to grow that eBay store, getting as many items uh, in there as possible. The more items that are in there, uh, the more sales I'm going to get and the more consistent uh, those numbers are going to be. As of right now, I primarily sell my items on eBay, but I do list some things on Facebook Marketplace, especially items that are um, heavy or um, big and bulky to ship. As of right now, I primarily sell my items on eBay, but I do list some things on Facebook Marketplace, especially items that are um, heavy or um, big and bulky to ship. And the first two sales I'm going to share with you today are actually two that sold on Facebook Marketplace for a local sale. Uh, the first one here, as you see, is a Frigidaire 6 can Retro Mini Fridge. So I received this item on a Walmart Returns pallet that I purchased from a local liquidator a while ago. And so I paid $3.63 for it. Well, the way it's figured out is you take the total cost of the pallet and then divide it by the number of items from it that you can sell. So the average cost of the item in, in this case was $3.63. And I sold this fridge for $25. And then the second sale on Facebook for this week was a hyper tough corded jigsaw which was also on that same Walmart pallet. So again I paid $3.63 and it sold for $20. So that's it for Facebook this week. The rest of these items were sold on eBay. So the first item that sold on eBay this past week was this vintage metal miniature die cast finger scooter. So I actually got this item at a Goodwill in a bag of littles that the whole bag was three dollars. So if I average it out, uh, I paid 38 cents for this scooter and I sold it for nine dollars plus shipping. Next up was this wireless game controller for Xbox 360. So this is just a generic uh, Xbox 360 controller and I got it in the electronics mystery box from Catch and Deals, um, the second electronics box which was the video that just posted a couple days ago. And so I paid $7.75 for each item in that box, and it, this one sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And now we move on to a really cool sale. A really cool find and a really cool sale. So this is an American Civil War Union General, which is Ulysses S. Grant, um, and it was made by a company called W. Britton. So I actually picked this up from a Goodwill a couple months ago when my wife and I spent the majority of a day um, thrifting. So it was a lot of fun. And at this particular Goodwill, we weren't really finding much. And um, I think I picked up maybe a hat and maybe uh, maybe a... I, I forget what else there was, but um, I decided to walk up to, if you've never been into Goodwills, typically most have some sort of display case at the um, at the checkout. And that's where they a lot of times will put the items that they think are a lot more valuable that they don't want to put out on the normal shelves. And so I walk up and I look and I saw a couple things that seemed interesting and, and one of them was um, this Ziploc bag that was full of these metal um, metal war figures. So I asked if I could look at them and they pulled them out and this this was one of the figures that was in it. I forget how many were in there, but there were there was a whole bag full. And the whole bag was six dollars. So that means for 
each item in this bag I paid a quarter and I sold this one for $45 plus shipping that was a pretty good find right there I could tell just by looking at them that they were probably going to be fairly valuable maybe not all of them but I definitely felt they were going to be well worth the six dollars so I bought them and paid off so next up we have this Marvel Avengers Bend and Flex Taskmaster I got this item in a Target Toys palette that I got from that same local liquidator that I got that Walmart palette from and so for this item so for all the items in, in this particular palette I paid seven dollars and eighty three cents and so on this one I technically took a loss because I only sold it for five dollars plus shipping so you might ask well why did I even bother listing and selling this item if I wasn't going to be able to you know get my money back for for the item and just kind of have to think about it in the, in the long haul there were tons of items on this palette and some of them were some of them were worth a whole lot more and some of them were, were less but selling this for five dollars puts me five dollars closer to breaking even with that palette so that's why I went ahead and sold it and the next item is pretty similar um, it's this Mike the Knight DVD and this came on that Walmart returns palette and there were several DVDs none of them were, were special at all and uh, so I listed them all pretty cheap and this one I think I, I believe there was two of these and this was the second one that sold um, so again for that palette I, I paid three dollars and sixty three cents an item and this DVD sold for two dollars and twenty four cents plus shipping this next item ended up being one of the bigger bigger sales of the week and that was this vintage Harley Davidson quilted short brim hat and I picked it up a couple weeks ago from an estate slash yard sale and I only paid a dollar for it I think I picked up three hats at the sale and this was one of them each of them was a dollar and I ended up selling this for $59.98 so that ended up being a, a really cool grab for me that day and here we have this Dungeons and Dragons starter kit that I got on the Target toys palette uh, that I've already mentioned so I paid seven dollars and eighty three cents for this item and I sold it for nine dollars only nine dollars plus shipping I had it listed for a little bit more ended up taking uh, an offer after kind of going back and forth a couple times with this buyer so it's kind of interesting because he, he he ended up during his last counter um, when, when he offered nine dollars was he said that he didn't even need the box so I could save some money and just ship all he wanted was the stuff that was inside which was the you know the rule book the guidebook uh, some worksheets and the dice I was able to recoup the money that I lost from taking that lower offer because I was able to ship that item for less because by taking it out of the box I was able to keep um, that package under a pound so I saved some money there and that made up for it. And then we have the CenturyLink modem router um, that I got in the second electronics mystery box from Catch and Deals recently. And it was actually supposed to be a different modem, but one of the common scams that you'll see in customer returns is instead of returning the item that they purchased, they returned an old item of theirs. In this case, the CenturyLink modem. So, but when I looked it up, it was still worth money. So, I mean, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to recoup what money I can. So I paid seven dollars and seventy-five cents for each item in this box, and I sold this router for fifty. Or, I'm sorry, forty dollars plus shipping. And then we have this Wilson Collegiate football that I got in the Target Toys palette, and where I paid seven dollars and eighty-three cents an item. And I sold this particular one for $29.98 plus shipping. It's not bad. And then this ne next item, similar to a couple of earlier, I took a loss. So the Spin Master Monster Jam Truck Dragnoid. Um, I got that in the Target Toys palette um, for $7.83. And I sold it for $6.99 plus shipping. 
And to give a little update on the numbers for this Target toy palette, the items from that palette uh, have been listed for about three to four weeks, and I have a, only a net sales of $117. I still need to sell $630 more of items in this palette to break even. So needless to say, the, the Target Toys palette isn't doing great for me. And, and maybe I need to adjust prices, um, but I know when I looked up all the comps, uh, I listed them for what I found at that time. Maybe things have changed. Uh, maybe it's just a thing people aren't buying many toys at this time of year. I, I'm not sure since I'm fairly new, I'm, I'm still learning these sorts of trends. But either way, that, that palette isn't doing great for me. So next up, we have a pretty good item. It's a Razer Death Adder. V2 Pro wireless mouse. This was in my first Catch and Deals electronics box and I paid $9.89 per item and this one sold for $54.89 plus shipping. So the items from this box have been listed for two weeks now and I have a net sales of $362 from that box. So I've already made back all of my money from that box plus an additional $145 past the break-even point. So that, that box is definitely doing great. Okay, and then next we have this GoGo -Go RC Bird, which came out of the second Electronics Mystery Box. And so I paid $7.74 for it. So it sold for $15 plus shipping. And for this next item, here we are in the middle of April, and I sold a set of Halloween Ghost Melamine appetizer plates, a set of four. And I got a bunch of these. Uh, I actually got, there's three different types of plates that I got. There was these ghost ones, I also got punk, pumpkin ones, and skull ones. And so I broke them up into sets of four. And this is the first set that has actually sold. And so I paid $3.63 and I sold this set for $11.99 plus shipping. I forget if I mentioned, but these plates came on the Walmart Returns palette. And so, so far that palette uh, has been listed for about two months and I have net sales from it of $1,479. So at this point I've already doubled my money back and I still have 135 items to sell from it. So still plenty of profit to rake in. All right, next up is this beginner wood carving set of three knives and some other accessories. This item actually came on my first general merchandise mystery box from Catch and Deals. That video of the unboxing isn't out yet. I filmed it, I believe, last week, and just haven't got uh, just haven't got that one edited yet. But it should be the next video that I release after this one, so it'll probably be out later this week. But I paid ten dollars and fourteen cents per item in this box, and this wood carving set I sold for twenty one dollars plus shipping. And the items from this box have only been listed for about five days. And I think this is only the second item that's sold out of it. So I only have a net sales of $18.42 from it. So still plenty of, uh, plenty of sales left in this box. So I have no worries that this box will be profitable. Okay, and then here is another Harley Davidson item. This one is an embroidered fitted hat that I actually got from that same estate slash yard sale. I paid a dollar for this one as well. Um, this one only sold for $17 plus shipping. Yes, I know I only said only uh, because that other Harley Davidson hat sold for close to $60. All right, next is this USB to HDMI video cable adapter. This uh, actually came in the third electronics mystery box. The video of this unboxing is yet to be released as well. This particular item was another one that was not supposed to be in the box because it was inside of a, a, a box for something else and instead of them return, the customer returning the actual item, they returned two, uh, two adapters. There was this adapter and another adapter. So I figured I'd still be able to sell them for you know $5 or something, so I listed them. And it actually sold pretty quick, so maybe it could have sold for more. But in that mystery box, the cost Per item is seven dollars and seventy-seven cents, and I sold it for five dollars plus shipping. Next, we have this portable charger. It's a ten thousand milliamp hour power bank, and this came in the second electronics mystery box. 
which I paid $7.74 and I sold this power bank for $18.90 plus shipping and then um, to recap this second electronics mystery box the items in it have been listed for a week so, so full seven days and the net sales have been $232 which is $15 past the break even point so this this item actually is what put me over the break even point so now every so now everything that I sell from that electronics box is pure profit all right I think we have three more items to go over. So the first of those is this 1 18th scale die-cast 2000 Chevy Impala NYPD car. I got this at my local Goodwill and it caught my eye because I saw it was a die-cast. Um, then when I got closer I noticed that it was in pretty rough shape. Uh, the more I looked at it the more I saw wrong. I think the, the one windshield was cracked, one of the windows was cracked. Uh, the the trunk lid was kind of bent a little bit. It didn't quite close properly. The what else? The uh, it was kind of there was mud caked on the bottom of it. The uh, there were some scratches and uh, I think even the the lights on top of the car were missing. So uh, not in the greatest shape. But then I thought, well, maybe it's fitting for New York. Uh, I don't know. I figured it would still be um, worth picking up, uh, so I picked it up, I listed it, um, I paid it $3.15 for it, and I sold it for $21.99 plus shipping. Um, and actually this, this item just sold today, and the buyer hasn't paid for it yet, so I haven't shipped it out, um, so hopefully they pay tomorrow and I can get it out to them. All right, then we have this Amicom Wi-Fi security camera. So just a kind of no-name brand uh, security camera. And I picked this up in the third electronics mystery box. And so it was, so I paid $7.77. And this camera sold for $14.95 plus shipping. And then the last item that, that sold just this evening was this two pack of 120 millimeter computer fans. Um, this also came in that third electronics mystery box, so I paid $7.77 for it, and it sold for $24.49 plus shipping. And so the items in that box have only been listed for two days, and I have a net sales of $85. So I'm already a third of the way to breaking even on that box only after two days. It's pretty good. So that makes 22 items sold in the past week for a total profit and that means after eBay fees, shipping, and cost of goods, so in my pocket money that I've made off of these sales is $300.94. I'm happy with that. I'm very pleased with those numbers. It's been a decent week. The last couple days the sales continue to increase I don't know if that's because of all of the listing that I've been doing to get my uh, eBay store numbers up or or what, but I'm sure it's not hurting. So um, there are a couple other, um, there are a few other boxes that I want to give updates on since this is the first What What Wednesday um, and the sales this past week, not, there were no items from these three boxes. So the Everything Liquidation box, which I think was the second unboxing video that I had. Um, so these items have been listed since February 10th and half of the items have sold and I still need $44 of sales from that box to break even. So it hasn't been, it hasn't been a terrible box but it hasn't been great. And then the other two boxes are my two restock boxes. Neither of them are doing great. So both restock boxes have been listed for three weeks and the first box only two items have sold out of the 17 and I still need $77 to break even. Um, the second one, the second box, um, only one item is sold out of 14 and I still need $82 to break even. So again, I don't know. I mean th these uh, these three boxes make my 
I mean, these three boxes make my my catch and deal boxes look even better, and they already looked amazing. So, um, I mean, when when most of those catch and deals boxes have already have already made uh, back my money within the first week, for a lot of them, uh, it's it's hard not to see how great those catch and deals boxes are when you look at those numbers. So there we have our first what what Wednesday video. I know with this first one, there were some housekeeping things that we had to take care of, and uh, that took up a little bit of our time, but um, let me know what you thought of this type of video, and if there's any suggestions or recommendations uh, of things that you think I should add or do different, or um, things that you're not interested in hearing if I, if I gave too much information, whatever it is, whatever it is, go ahead and put it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to come back next week where we'll see if we can break some records. But until next time, keep on flipping.